Welcome to another tutorial video. My name is William. In this video, we are going to talk about how to install and use Daisy UI. Daisy UI is a component library for Tailwind CSS, and you can be able to find that currently Tailwind CSS is very popular with the developers, and Daisy UI can be able to provide quick uh, way in which you can be able to build your website application and it has very nice components. So let us go ahead and see how to use Daisy UI. And since we have said that Daisy UI is a Tailwind CSS component, that means we must install Tailwind CSS and then install Daisy UI afterwards. So let us go ahead and install Tailwind. And what I'm going to search here is uh, install, uh, install Tailwind in Laravel. And then of course we have it the first link is the one that we are going to use and so if we are using a laravel application and of course i have an installation of a laravel application already laravel 10 so we are just going to add daisy daisy ui and tailwind so the first thing that i'm going to have is um, to copy this first line and of course what this is going to do it's going to install for us it will install for us Tailwind CSS, post, post CSS, and auto prefixer. I'm going to hit enter for that installation to continue. Our installation is complete. I need to cop to run npx Tailwind CSS in init. So I'm just going to copy this and also paste it here to, init to initialize our Tailwind. And of course, it has been able to publish the Tailwind config.js and also post CSS config file. So the two files. And after that, what we need to do inside the Tailwind config uh, CSS, we are supposed to add this. So let me just check what we have inside there. And uh, Tailwind config.js, yes, it has content and all that, but we need to pass in some uh, values and what we are going to do inside content we are going to pass in uh, whatever is that we have here let me just copy all of them depending with whatever is that you're doing i think it can serve as a good uh, base for that so let's just have have it like that and then afterwards and this is um installation when we are working with uh, vit so after that, we go to our app.css. So I'm going to copy this, whatever it is that we have here. We go to app.css. So that is resources, CSS, app.css. And inside here, I want to paste whatever it is that I've just copied there. Now, if we run npm dev, run dev, we can be able to have our tailwind but of course we need to include in our html so in this case i'm going to just modify of course you can be able to extract this to a layout file but in this case i'm just going to have everything here so i'm going to remove everything and just have html5 and then of course i will include the tailwind uh, css so in this case we can be able to just have advite resources css app dot css like that so this is what i want us to have here and now we are successfully able to have installed tailwind css so in this case even if i'm to have whatever it is that we have here which is um, a tailwind uh, class inside our body we can be able to see that something we actually display so I'm going to have it there. And then, of course, we are supposed to run the server. So PHP artisan serve. And then, of course, I also need to run npm run dev. npm run dev that way to compile our assets. So if I'm to visit localhost 8000 now, we are able to have our page let's wait for it and we have hello world whatever it is that we are passing uh, here like that so i want us to do a little bit more 
and now go ahead and install daisy ui so inside our terminal again i'm going to just run the command npm i so daisy ui that way i hit enter and this one will also install daisy ui in our application that is completed i want us to just um, go ahead and be able to customize customize it a bit so i'm going to go to daisy ui and then what we need to do is to just put inside the plugins we are going to require daisy ui so this is what i'm going to copy just the line inside there so i'm going to copy if we go to tailwind config .js so which is um, this file here and then where we have the plugins so inside here we are going to require daisy ui like that and i need to just close this i didn't copy it nicely so basically that will enable us to be able to to use daisy ui i want us to do something about theming in daisy ui we have themes and that is what i want us to just check and we are going to try something until we are able to maybe have some nice pages so that is what i want to, us to do so these are the different themes that we have in daisy ui you can be able to have colors like that so if you say primary it, you pick one of these colors and you can be able to just build your application without really wor worrying about themes and all that right here inside in our sidebar we have the theme generator and it is what i want us to just use to sort of like generate a theme so i'm going to maybe randomize and now it has changed and randomize again and you can see the colors are changing so what i can do i can be able to just copy whatever it is that we have here so uh, under in our tailwind config.js we are going to include this theme that we have here so i'm going to copy everything that we have here and then we are going to pass it uh, inside our config js so let me just copy this we will paste it here and save so you have something of this sort of course not well styled probably i can be able to highlight whatever it is that we have here and move it a bit something of that sort so now i want us to go ahead and see if we can now be able to use the tailwind css i mean the daisy ui components that is what i want us to look at so i want us to search for navbar and uh, what we are having here is a component for the navbar and i would like to just pick one of them for example this one i can check for the html and copy it just copy by clicking on the side here and then go to our web our welcome.blade.php file and replace whatever it is that we have here with our navbar like that i want us to check and see how it displays and now you can see we have a nice navigation bar of course the the whatever is the image that we have is not being displayed perfectly and then of course we can be able to also go again and check for something else for example um maybe a carousel a carousel and uh, once it's open we can be able to pick whatever is that we have in any of this so maybe i can pick this one the html i believe the problem is that the images are not uh, there so that one we because they are referenced from whatever it is that we have in the application so if we can be able to put in our own images we can be able to have that so we can paste in the carousel and now you see we have something that has arrows on both sides so our carousel is actually there 
then probably I'll be able to just try and get some images from somewhere and display there. I want us to maybe look for another component. So let me just scroll downwards and we look at uh, the components. So maybe you can use this button. Yes, and we have very many components here. I would like us to do what to just pick maybe a footer and add it there. In this case, we can pick this footer here that has some kind of color. Can be able to copy it. Let me just copy using this one and then paste it here in our document and save. Now we have a footer. And as you can see, the footer is looking very nice. For the images, we have had issues with them, but for the footer, it's actually displaying in a very nice way. And basically, as you can be able to see, is that um, whatever it is that we are doing, we are actually using the components for, for Daisy UI in our application. And you can see that what it does, it makes your development process very quick because you will not be struggling with the design issues in your application and you can be able to just move and uh, be concerned about more important stuff. So basically that is it. I think it's a good place for me to stop um, this tutorial video. Obviously, if you are able to find a way in which to pass some images on our carousel, you will be able to find that they will actually be displaying nicely. But even as we try to check on it, you can see it's also uh, showing one uh, image to another, to another, to another like that. Subscribe to my channel. Give, a, give us a thumbs up if you like the video. And you can also share and comment. Thank you very much.